Today I'm leaving the beautiful Drakensberg Mountains and sadly my friend Gottfried up there. And I'm heading down to the battlefields of Rogers Drift. Sadly using the South African roads again. It's going to be a long drive and let me tell you my back's going to get another pounding. Just can't wait for that. So at this battlefield is a very important part of the Anglo-Zulu War. After the Zulu army ambushed a British camp, 4,000 of their warriors marched down to a hospital uh, that was used by the British army. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave your feedback in the comments so I can make better videos to show you the world, and most importantly, enjoy. So we've just arrived in the city of Dundee in uh, South Africa, not Scotland. <laughs> and um, so it's been about three hours from the Drakenberg Mountain to here. Two interesting things that I learned were South Africa has the highest Indian population, except for India. And the second thing is um, the first city we passed was called Ladysmith. And there, the birth of the Dutch descendants and the British were fighting for the land. And um, the Dutch, now so because they're both religious, the uh, Dutch and the British didn't fight each other on Sundays. And even on Christmas Day, the Dutch descendants through food uh, to the, on the British side so they could have some food. <laughs> and look, here is Dundee. Another thing you notice is basically every house or shop has bobbed wire to protect it. So I guess there's a reason for that. Um, which I don't want to find out. <laughs> oh, so we've just arrived at the Zulu battlefield where they fought the British. Um, we're just about to go in and check out. The one thing in South Africa I'll never get used to are the pothole roads. I, oh my God back is in agony. <laughs> yeah, so basically this building behind me was a hospital that the British used for the soldiers that got injured. And um, basically they had a peace treaty with the Zulu army, the Zulus a tribe in South Africa, that they wouldn't attack each other. But um, the Zulu king died and the new king was a bit more aggressive and started um, retraining his warriors. And the British got worried when they found out that he was creating a military and they declared war on the Zulus. And they had a camp in Zulu territory, which the Zulus ambushed, basically killed most of them. And the ones that, and so the Zulu army made their way here into British, which was British territory, um, to attack the hospital where a lot of British soldiers, the ones that survived the ambush, came back here. And the Zulus, they um, were very tired when they came here and they thought they'll just burn the roof <laughs> so all the injured soldiers would suffocate. Uh, little did they know that was not the case because they dug a way out and were able to jump out here. 
where the other British soldiers were hiding here on the other side. And basically that's when the war broke out. So where I'm standing now is where they were fighting against each other in 1879. Fighting and then it turned dark, night time, and the British were on the side looking at the um, roof, which was burning, so they could see everything while the Zulus couldn't see anything, and they could basically just shoot them. So yeah. <laughs> so the burning of the roof was actually a failure. <laughs> This was the direction they were looking at while well, this roof was burning. <laughs> and basically, yeah, that's the story of this place. Um, wow, it does feel strange to be on such a battlefield <laughs> where they're fighting. The British soldiers that died in this war against the Zulus in 1879. Um, I'll just go up these stairs to show you. Uh, got the Welsh flag. <laughs> And after that, I'm driving down a very bumpy road to a town called St. Lucia in South Africa, not the Caribbean islands. Um, around 200 people live there and uh, 11 hippos. So you have to look at at night because they could be wandering around and hippos are quite aggressive. So you better walk in a different, uh, or walk in a different way if you see one of them at night. Um, and it's the town in the same evening where I saw the South Africa smash the French in Paris at the World Cup 2928. The atmosphere was great, let me tell you. And one of the locals told me a story that he got really drunk, had a few too many tequila shots, and he smacked a hippo on the bottom. But I seriously doubt that story because he'd probably have got killed because hippos are very aggressive. So um, if you are in a town near hippos, do not drink too much tequila. Don't get too drunk. <laughs> Keep safe, my friends. And thank you for watching till the end of the video. Um, please subscribe to support me. Like, comment, tell me what I could do better. So I can bring the best videos out for you guys and show you the world. Keep safe and see you next time.